Hey there, Leo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a ooh, general message. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this fits, just try a different message. We're going to start with the animal spirit oracles, and they are definitely already talking. Oh, yeah. Wow. So first thing I saw... Um, Panther Spirit, Master Number 44, Reclaim Your Power. Panther Spirit works for you in the darkness to fight away the things that you cannot see that you're not aware of. It's like protection that you didn't even realize you had and you didn't know you needed, but you do have it, okay? And then we have Snake Spirit, Master Number 55, Time to Heal. So we're shedding the old and getting ready for the new to surface, all right? And then at the bottom of the deck, you have Dragonfly Spirit, another master number, 22. Truth transcends illusion. So 22, 44, 55, the truth is out, and it is time to shed the past because it's not healthy for you. You might have to shed someone, something, but whatever it is, you know it's not healthy for you, it's not good for you, it's going to hurt you, or it has been hurting you, it's time to let something go. And now you know it. And my goodness, I bet you can't get away from the numbers. I just looked, it was one minute and 38 seconds, which is 111, 111. <laughs> 222, 444, 555, my goodness. My goodness, Leos. Yeah, you probably can't. It's 3.13 p.m. <laughs> My goodness. All right, so let's see. What does the Chakra Tarot have? Oop. For Leo, please and thank you. Three of Cups and the Empress. You're outgrowing something. Yeah, you're gathering information, truths, truthful information about something that you need to cut out. Yep, yeah, exactly. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. It's time to cut something out. The truth is here. The High Priestess. You know the truth. You might not be telling everybody, though. You might not be telling anybody. You might be keeping this to yourself because it's your information. It's your truth. It's your knowledge. It's, it's what you know. The death card. Yeah. It's time to cut something out for good. Death means there's no going back to it. There's no resurrecting this and bringing it back up or bringing it back into your life. A person, a situation. We're done for good. I will make peace on my own. On my own time, in my own terms, I, I will make peace with it. I do not need to sit down with you and have that conversation. I, I, will, I will do what I need to do on my end, and I wish you the best, but I just, I can't, can't do it anymore. Yeah, Knight of Swords. There's a lot of information coming through. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. You have a couple of friends here. You've got a couple of people here that are giving you amazing advice or the information you needed these could be spirits these could be ancestors they could be physical people around you family friends neighbors now the high priestess only speaks with the queen of cups but the queen of swords is a part of this conversation here i believe she is the one that's coming in with the truth so this person could be going to the queen of cups and saying you know what you know Leo better than I do. Can you help me get this information to Leo? And the Queen of Cups is saying, come with me. You and I will both tell Leo directly. Like, we will both tell them. Knight of Wands. And then action is going to be taken. But it's passionate action. It's not necessarily angry. Two of Wands, three of Wands. Yeah. So I feel like the three of you are going to sit down, or how many ever it is, um, of you are going to sit down and really decide what we're going to do about this. The lover is making a final decision and the sun card, very clear decision. Everybody is going to be on the same page with this. It's unanimous. King of Swords. Yes, this is unanimous. 
There could, yeah, there could be a few people involved because we got one, two, three, four people here. King and Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and High Priestess, which I believe is you. High Priest, High Priestess. There could have been multiple people that seen this too, but this is information that was always meant to find you. Yeah, and you're going to end up closing out a chapter here because of this. King of Wands, that's the action you're taking. There could be a couple um, of couples. This feels like a group thing. A family dynamic or some kind of like a, a, a group of people. The whole neighborhood is involved in this or... Um, I don't know, maybe it's like a congregation at a church or something like that. Uh, a group of people that get together and hang out. A bunch of different couples. I, I don't know exactly. You'll know if it's for you. 555. Five, five. <laughs> On the timestamp. The synchronicities are just unfucking real right now for you, Leo. I'm sorry. You guys cannot get away from them. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, though. Having more than you need. Having more support than you need. Having more confirmation than you need. Having more information than you need. Having more proof, evidence, and receipts than you need. Having more um, witnesses or backup support than you need. You have more than what you need here. Okay? And the backup is real. The backup is real. These are very powerful people backing you up or highly influential people. As long as these people or, or energies are supporting you, you feel 100% confident moving forward. So I love that this is here for you, more than what you need. I mean, if that's not confirmation, I don't know what the fuck is. Oh, I already pulled from this deck, what am I doing? Let's grab you a positive affirmation. I feel like you guys could use one of those. For Leo, please and thank you, Spirit. We'll close with this one here. For Leo, please and thank you. What do we have? Thank you so much, Spirit. Balance. Heart or mind, body or soul, creative or calculated, masculine or feminine, soft or strong, spirit or science, momentum or rest, sun or moon, summer or winter. What is life but a beautiful, delicious mixture of both? Perhaps it doesn't have to be one or the other. Perhaps we were made to be some things, but then also everything, all in one. After all, the sun and the moon exist together in the sky. It is simply our perspective that keeps us from seeing both at the same time. Balance. Leos, I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys. I'm going to leave this one right here. And um, until our paths cross again, stay beautiful.